Are you with me? Yes. Let's go to Joshua chapter 1. So, in our desire for the good life or in our believing for the good life, trusting God for the good life, wanting the good life, we've got to understand the importance of the word of God. Because the word is what will become the good life. Amen, somebody. Because the word is convertible material. Amen. So I've got to know how to, and we're not going to be able to get into this tonight, but we're going to get into it in the course of teaching this. I'm going to show you how to take the word and make the word become whatever you want it to become. If the word can become flesh, the word can become anything. But you got to know how to walk the word, how to take that word, apply that word, uh, so that that word can become what you need the word to become. Uh, are you with me tonight? Okay, are you in Joshua chapter 1? Look at verse number 8. Verse number 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do. To do what? To do according to all that is written in it. For then, are you with me? Yes. You will what? Make your way how? Prosperous. And then you will have what? Success. Now I like the way the new, uh, and the, and the new King James puts it because it's, it brings us back to that word good. It says, for then you will have, you will make your way prosperous and you will have what? Good success. So, so, so take note that we began by saying it is God's will that you have the good life. And now you see that it says that you will have good success. But I want to show you something here. I want to show you here, this, this scripture contains what I call the anatomy of success. It says, this book of the law, talking about the word of God, talking about the Bible, shall not depart from where? From your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. <laughs> Check out the different steps. That you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then... You, not God, will make your way. So you are a way maker. So you don't need to wonder who's going to make a way for me. You don't need to wait for somebody. No, you are a way maker. Come on. God is a way maker, but so are you because you have his DNA. For then you will make your way prosper. So let's break it down. Let's break it down. We all want to end up in the place of prosperity. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Everybody wants a prosperous life. Everybody wants to prosper. So prosperity, destination prosperity is the desire. But how do we get to that destination? Well, we get to that destination by beginning from the word. This book of the law. What does that mean? What is in the book of the law? The word. Okay, the word or law there does, does not just mean law in terms of uh, the, what is forbidden. The word of God is law. Hello? The word of God is what? It's law. The word of God is law. So, destination, prosperity. But where do we start from? We start from the, the word. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate, which brings you to the heart. So the word will determine the thinking. Words will determine how you think. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe to do. So the word that you receive will determine the way that you think and the way that you think will determine the way that you act. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night 
that you may observe to do, which is action. So check this out. This is the anatomy of success. The anatomy of success is simply that words will frame your thinking and your thinking will this determine your emotions. How you think will determine how you feel. How you feel will determine how you act or the decisions you make. And the decisions you make will become the actions you take. And the actions you take will form the habits that you have. And the habits you do repeatedly will become your character and your character is your destination. Ultimately, you are your character. Yes. Ultimately, you will arrive at the destination of your character. That's why you must not neglect character. No. I don't care how uh, gifted you are. I don't care how much people celebrate you. You better pay attention to your character because the level of your character will put a ceiling on how high you can go. Now, it may look like, it may look like you got away with it for a while, but I'm telling you, life will always bring you back to the level of your character. Are you with me? So, so in order to arrive at that destination prosperity, I've got to check my character. Because success without character will never last. Hello, somebody. H have, you ever, have you ever known of or known somebody or seen somebody or heard of somebody who got to the top and then fell back down to the bottom? Because something was missing. Hello, somebody. It's amazing how somebody can build a political career and become a governor of a state. And then in one day, come on, one mess come on, will kick you out of office that you spend years working out to get to. Hello, somebody. It's amazing how somebody will build a ministry that goes across nations and then in one act of indiscretion, uh, they'll lose everything that they had worked for, including their names. Are you with me? Why? Because character is important. So in order to arrive at destination success or good success, I've got to watch my character. In order to get a hold of my character, I've got to pay attention to my habits in order for me to be able to, uh, uh, to effectively manage my habits uh, or harness my habits. I've got to pay attention to my actions. And in order for me to decide my actions carefully, I've got to pay attention to my decisions. And my decisions are determined by how I feel. And how I feel is a result of the way I think. And the way I think emanates from the word that I choose to feed myself with. So ultimately... When I arrived at that destination success or good success, the word that I received had something to do with that. Okay, let me be direct. The word that you have chosen to feed yourself with has something to do with where you are in life. The words that you have chosen to believe, the words that you embrace has something to do with the way that you, where, where you end up in life or where you are right now the word so that's why the scripture says here that this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth in other words this this word of God shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it because when you do it will determine the way you think and the way you think will determine the way that you feel and the way that you feel will determine the decisions you make and the decisions you make will then inform the actions you take. And the actions you take will eventually uh, crystallize into becoming the habits that you form. And if you keep forming good habits, then good habits will become good character. And good character will end up in a place called good success. Okay. But ladies and gentlemen, what most people do is we don't want to go through all of that. We want a shortcut. No, we don't want the word to change the way we think. 
so that we can change the way we feel, so that we can change the way the decisions we make and the choices we make, and so we can change uh, the, the actions we take and then change our habits and change our character so we can end up at a good place. No, we don't want that too long. That's taking too much time. Okay, okay, okay. No, we want it right now. Where is the button that I can press so I can skip all these steps? Show me the fee that I can pay so I can get the expedited version. Hello, somebody. And that's why we fall prey to all kinds of manipulative teachings and preachings that tell us if you put the money here and put your left feet, uh, leg here, put your right leg here and say this three times, you're going to receive the miracle that you need. And so that, that appeals to our sense of urgency and our sense of having it now and we fall prey to it. But let me tell you, God is not a microwave God. I, I, God is a crock pot God Amen somebody He takes the time And he, every time that you think That you can jump the line Every time that you think That you can have a shortcut What you're doing is You're delaying yourself even more Because after you've done Jumping the line You will notice that He'll bring you right back To where you should have been Because he will never give up on you Until he has developed you Through and through Are you with me tonight? So we must pay attention to words, to the word of God. We must pay attention.